to the Woody Podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? I am your host, Eric the Great. Get in. Now, let's get right into this, man, because um, I have been hearing about this movie, man. They told me check, telling me to check out. You know what I'm saying? And it got to do with the internet. You know what I'm saying? Something that I have uh, 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 dived into here first, you feel me? But uh, name of the movie, I think it's on Netflix, it's called Social Dilemma. Or The Social Dilemma, you feel me? Now, when I first seen it, they said, yeah, man, they talking about uh, the creators, Facebook, Instagram, or the people that you at least uh, work with, employees, you feel me? Because don't get me wrong, I am one of those people that's kind of old school, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a, a the pick with a fish, you feel me? Old school, you feel me? I'm used to the flip phone. All I really needed was to text and to talk. I ain't really like texting either, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we have gotten to the point. But we don't like you like talking no more. You just like texting. You feel me? It kind of takes away from the emotional part of it. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't hear nobody's voice. And then people be uh, uh, misunderstanding your text message. For some reason. You'll say something regular. And they say, what, you got an attitude? What, you get an attitude? at this text message. You feel me? I say, I love you. And then you tell my son, you love me? You don't love me. If you love me, you would have sent that cash out. No. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. But some people can be petty like that, though. You know what I'm saying? You just can't love you. I love you because I love you. Crazy person. Anyway, the movie is called Social Dilemma. And as I was looking at this, you know what happened? It's only human beings trying their best to create something, right? It reminds me of uh, Frankenstein. When the scientist, he's just trying to create, you know what I'm saying? He don't know if it's going to work or not. You try to create a whole human being. Next thing you know, it works. And now, you can't really control a human being that you created. You know what I'm saying? He's going to eventually have his own uh, feelings and emotions and want to do his own thing. You know what I'm saying? You can't control a person forever if it ain't your mind. You feel me? It's their mind. Can't control people. If you created a person, guess what? That person going to eventually grow up and do his own thing. Just like a child, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like humans have created the computer slash AI. And AI went from a baby. When it was a baby, you remember them computers with the booty on there? You know what I'm saying? Now the baby has grew up all the way to an Apple Watch. Now it's tiny. Went from a booty to a tiny. You can put it on your watch. It. Yeah, man, what's up, man? And talking on your phone. Future. We are definitely in the future. But now, the people that has made everything so easy for us to do. Order food. Order a ride. Order anything, man. You can get a massage, probably. You feel me? Anything on your phone, man. If, if uh, click of a button, you feel me? They'll deliver it. Trust me. Now, they have got to the point where they didn't think that's because you like, you made a like button. Thank you. You like my stuff, right? i be positive. I like when somebody like my stuff. But they said, what about all the people that's digitally ugly? 
because nobody ain't liking they stuff. It's right. The whole digitally ugly community that is not getting the like button hit on their page, guess what? They're getting sad. They're getting super sad. You know what super sad is, don't you? Depression. Yes, depression. Why is you not liking my stuff? They start thinking, they start questioning themselves. Like, am I not good enough for somebody to like my stuff? I know my picture look better than that picture. Look how big their head is. Just because they got some Jordans, you're going to like their picture. Just because they got a big booty, you're going to like their picture. Yes. So now other people is trying to uh, <laughs> get bigger booties. Get their mouth do like this here. Everybody like this here. What the fuck is that? Why are you taking a picture like that? Do use your regular mouth. Just smile regular, please. Cheese. Remember, you remember cheese? My, I'm not this guy. Cheese. You know what I'm saying? Need to be on the ground like this here. You know what I'm saying? Not no more. Now we got filters that make you look like a baby deer. A teddy bear. You got halos around your head. You got flower crowns. And <laughs> you're probably as trifling as you want to be. You ain't changed the baby because you booked. You, you, you've been putting filters on your phone the whole time, taking pictures, the baby crying in the back. Move, baby. I ain't got time for you. I'm trying to get a like. Do that, do that seem right? This is what they was trying to bring to our attention. That we, well, they did not think it would go this far. You know what I'm saying? Now they don't know what to do. Because now AI has, took, has grown up and doing what it want to do. You feel me? You know what it's doing? Manipulating you with ads because you know what you like. And now it's selling your likes to companies so they can send you more ads to manipulate you to get the stuff that they sell. Now, the internet has grown out of control with lies, pretty much. You know how moss or fungus or uh, 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 mold grow? That's what the internet, it started with the truth because you can Google the, what the exact fact is, you know what I'm saying? Now, there's so many rumors and blogs to the point where It'll grow out of control. And now people but believe it. And now people go on the street be hating people for no reason. Don't even know why you don't like them. You know why you don't like them? Because you just seen somebody on live get shot in the head by somebody that just look just like them. Come on, bro. Don't let the machine manipulate you. All right? You are much smarter than a machine because you can create a machine only can go by what is all the data that I already got. You feel me? Now, I have to give people second chances. And I implore that you do the same thing because I can't be kind of like a, uh, 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 what's the thing? Algorithm. Don't be an algorithm. Like, I think sometimes we like algorithms because if, you go to a person and you're used to a, a certain answer from that person, of course, you're going to adjust or just adjust the way you ask uh, uh, that person or you're just going to stop going to that person because you already know what they're going to say. That's kind of like what the algorithm is. You know what I'm saying? If you're prone, if you're a bodybuilder, then you're prone to buy creatine and protein powder, ain't you? So guess what's going to be on your... Uh, Facebook, a bunch of powders and weight loss supplements might be slipper steroid in the off the black market on you. 
I ain't going to jail because you didn't try too hard to get a muscle. That's beside the point. So what I learned from the social dilemma is don't believe everything you hear on the internet, especially the internet. They used to tell us that back in the day. Don't believe everything that you hear on the TV or on the news, you feel me? Because uh, they can't tell you the whole truth or you will panic and go into mass hysteria. You feel me? But the movie was very informative. It let you know that they really don't know what to do. They're trying to bring it back. They're trying to dial it back. But you be smarter. You be smarter. You know what I'm saying? Don't let just the, don't don't let the internet just snatch you in a kind of way. Just cause they shut your Instagram down. Don't start going crazy. You feel me? Now, I know you might make all your money off of Instagram, but you gotta have uh, 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 some more sturdy. Try to get you a business in the streets because you still got real customers. You know what I'm saying? If Instagram go down, where's your website? It's real customers can go if Instagram down. Don't be so dependent on them. You know what I mean? They don't control everything. They don't control everything. That's all I'm saying. But what if, if was a fear, we'll all be drunk, but what if AI is trying to create or manipulate you to go to war, you feel me? It could be manipulating other countries to go to war, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know the source, or you think the source is credible, guess what? Somebody finna start launching missiles. You feel me? And we don't want that. We don't want that. Before you say you hate somebody, ask yourself, do you know they individual? But you want somebody just to shoot your loved one in the face just because of, of somebody else that they don't even know that they just happen to be the same color. That ain't, that ain't fair. What would Jesus do? Remember that? That's all I'm saying. Next on the agenda. Tory Lanez Daystar. Bruh. I did listen to that album. I did enjoy the album. For real. It might have been his best album. Maybe because it was like a testimony. A lyrical testimony. That's exactly what it was. Because now, he has created reasonable doubt. Because I'm definitely doubting what Megan was saying when somebody else say that she know I ain't shoot the, shoot the gun. How could she see who shot the gun if she was running away or leaving? She can't see behind her. Unless she, her neck is doing a 360 deal. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like he is deeply in love. Not so deep as I was out seen. But he close. He's very close. You know what I'm saying? I think it's more like Bunny and Clyde. You know what I'm saying? But what if it just was an accident? Accidents do happen. You feel me? Somebody probably was playing. Playing too much. Somebody thought they were serious. Next thing you know, an accident happened. And it could be up to three people who accidentally shot. You know what I'm saying? So, 
where everybody gonna take the charge, everybody got to go then. But he said he ain't shoot. So what if her own friend accidentally shot? And to my I ain't mean to. You feel me? That's either here nor there. All I do know is. The album was fire. He took shots. And everybody who took shots at him. He was making a lot of sense. I'm not going to lie. I'm on the fence right now. I don't know who did it, but I do know this. If they put this, uh, 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 <laughs> they put this case on TV, guess what? It'll be very entertaining. Because everybody waiting to see who is in that blank. Blank shot me. Blank accidentally shot me. Blank accidentally made the gun go off. We need that blank. We need that blank. We need it. That's all I'm saying. I know God talking to you. Whoever know the truth. Like, man, eating you up inside. Man, look, look. You know what happened. You better not say nothing. Let them say it. Let God make them. Uh, the truth gonna come to light. And I guess why that's why he called it Daystar. You feel me? It's so bright. Is shining in the day. What if? That's all I'm saying. Accidents happen. Exactly. How you think you got here? Think you was playing? You want playing? Accident. Oops. Oops. Ski. Oop. You know what? My bad. I got out of hand. Oh, uh, yeah, man. But yeah. On another note, pray for them. Yeah, they're going through some time. On another note, uh, Donald Trump came out with a um, bribery plan, I mean, platinum plan for the black community. That's right. He has a plan. Platinum. You remember when black people liked the platinum? I wonder is that why he named it that. He still think we, we were platinum. We think platinum cool. You know what I'm saying? I got the platinum plan for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Not the gold. No, y'all don't like gold. Y'all like platinum, don't Yeah, y'all like to shine. I'm trying to make you shine, baby. Now, listen. All I'm saying is, I had wrote down a few things because I had checked out the platinum plan. And I want to read it off some of the things to you that uh, he got planned for the black community to help us out. You feel me? I said, why not listen to him? You know what I'm saying? See what he got to say. Because every time Biden say something, just kind of jumble his words. Maybe be Kamala. Need to help him out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I am eager to see the debate, to see who make more sense. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. I don't want no races in there. Because races only got one objective. And it's not in my best interest. But this is the platinum plan. At least some of them. You know what I'm saying? Three million new jobs for the black community. Three million. It's a lot of jobs. What kind of jobs? That is the question. Three million though? You must finna start dropping warehouses everywhere like they already got. And then just hope black people work there. That ain't exactly for the black people, you know what I'm saying? Unless you just start building a job inside of the projects, you know what I'm saying? Where you ain't even got to go far. You drop your kids off and you go back to your apartment and your job is at your apartment or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That'll be fine. 
actually be helping somebody. I don't know. But a lot of jobs, you know what I'm saying? Next. Uh, creating 500,000 black businesses. Five hundred thousand. That's a lot of black owned business. But you must go on. Let's just say I got an idea for a business. You got grants for me to start my business. Bam, it uh uh it'll pay back in about a year, a couple of years. Hey, I'm all for that. Five hundred thousand times sound like a plan to me. You know what I'm saying? Let's get our plans together so we can get this money. You feel me? 500,000 businesses. And let's get this Black Wall Street back on track. You feel me? But if that's true, hey, I don't know what the businesses is. Maybe he waiting on us to come up with the businesses. I know we already got it ready to say go. So let's just let's wait and see. Because everybody don't tell the truth. You feel me? I like they finna tell the truth. They say one thing, and then they, they snatch it back. You know what I'm saying? They be like, man, up. I thought I had it ready, but I really don't have it ready. I know I told you I had it ready, but just give me two more weeks. You feel me? And I, I straighten you out. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. Sound like credit to me. Give me no credit. I need it up front. Up front. You feel me? All right, next. Safe urban neighborhoods with the highest policing standards. Now, I'm a little nervous about that. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got a... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Somebody black that we trust training y'all through a, uh, what you call it? Some type of cultural understanding class. And that's the only way we're going to really take it seriously. Who is over the program? You feel me? Because they're going to be policing us. They need to at least be among the people. You feel me? It's not cool. It's not cool at all. 